Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Paula Empty Nester at 40. Today's project you will need a willow wreath, some cotton balls, your scissors, your glue gun. I will be using some pine cones that I picked up from outside, but if you don't have that, you can pick up a pack of the Potpourri Natural Color from the Dollar Tree. We are going to begin by making our cotton ball bunches. I'm going to make about 15 cotton ball bunches just to go around one layer of my wreath. I'm going to link a video below on how I make these cotton ball bunches. I will go through one here and then I will continue on until I'm done with all 15. I'm gonna take three cotton balls, they're on the smaller side, and I'm just going to glue all three of the cotton balls together. Once I have them glued together, I'm going to scrunch them up. That's a personal preference, it doesn't have to be done. And now I'm going to take my pine cone pieces and I'm going to hot glue a pine cone piece to each crease of my cotton ball bunch. I have three creases on my bunch, so I'm going to go ahead and glue three different pine cone pieces. I'm going to continue that process until I have a total of 15 bunches. Now that all my cotton ball bunches are done, I'm going to begin to hot glue them around the wreath. Now this wreath was actually a lighter color, but I was going to use it for another project, so I previously had painted it using truffle chalk paint. I'm going to take my cotton ball bunches and I'm just going to begin to glue them around the entire wreath. As I mentioned prior, I'm only doing one layer of cotton balls. You can do as many layers as you'd like to have more fullness on your wreath if that's the look that you are going for. So now I'm just gonna continue to glue all the cotton bunches that I made around the wreath.
finished gluing all the cotton bunches to my wreath, now I'm ready to add the final elements to my project. Here's where I always hit that roadblock where I just don't know what to use. So I'm going to start off by trying to make a bow out of jute twine. I'm not going to edit this out of the video because I think it's pretty funny that I was trying to even make this work. Eventually, I decided that using the wired burlap ribbon to make a bow was probably the best idea and would make the wreath look better than the jute twine. At this point I finally realized that the jute twine was not going to work and I pulled out the wired burlap ribbon. Now I am not a bow maker even with the burlap ribbon so you are going to see me fumbling around trying to make the bow. At the end everything turned out great but I always struggle making these bows.
I'd like to thank everybody that has subscribed to my channel. I hope you truly enjoy the videos that I am posting. If you're new here and you haven't subscribed and you enjoy my videos, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you're notified the next time I upload a video. Thank you. And here's the finished project. Let me show you how I add it to my home decor.